Uh, welcome to Teddy Talk students. Uh, today we are looking mm -hmm. at resolving vectors. How do we resolve vectors and what do we mean by saying we have a vector? Now we are basically going to resolve vectors in two directions or in two dimensions. And before we go to the deriving, what comes out of resolving? Uh, when we resolve when we resolve vectors, when we resolve vectors into a single component, into a single component in a, a given direction, comma, the resulting vector the resulting vector is called a resultant vector. And I say a resultant vector is a single vector that has the same effect as two or more vectors. Now let us look at a scenario where we have two forces acting perpendicular to one another. Now uh, if we have a force F that is pulling in the y direction and we call it Fy and we also have another force X pulling in the x direction, in the positive x direction. And now, when these two forces are acting on a body, if we try to trace for the resultant force on the body, the resultant force is along here. The resultant force becomes along that direction. And uh, this is assumed that the force is acting at a given angle. To the horizontal. Now, uh, this let's call this force X. Now, if we need the force X, I mean the force F. The only way we can get force F is uh, by drawing a triangle. That is right angle triangle. We know this is F X. This is the same as the F Y. Now, we know. If maybe this triangle of ours had names, it had a name, so we see that from triangle BSC, uh, we look at the trigonometric of sine, trigonometric ratio, we see that sine, sine is equal to opposite, this is Fy, over the hypotenuse. So this tells us that the sign here is opposite over the hypotenuse that we gave as y. And when we make fy the subject, we realize that uh, fy is f sine theta. So this becomes some kind of something that is very crucial and necessary. That when we are deriving I mean, so when we are resolving in the vertical direction, that, uh, because we said Fy is in a, a vertical direction, the component of the force in uh, the vertical direction is always got from uh, F at the force times the angle at which it is acting. That is getting the component of this direction, uh, uh, the component of this force in the vertical direction. Now. Uh, let's also consider sine theta. We know that cos, cos theta is uh, adjacent over uh, it is adjacent over opposite. Therefore, fx is equal to f cos theta. So now, when we are resolving horizontally, if we need to get the component of any force in a vertical direction, then we get it from F cos 
theta. Now, when we are dealing with vectors, we have to be careful. We said vectors have both magnitude and direction. But uh, before we go to getting the magnitude and the direction, these are two forces acting in different directions. Now, we are supposed to work them out up to the time where we are supposed to get one single force that will have the same effect as many forces that you will be given. Now, uh, if we use Pythagoras theorem uh, from uh, Pythagoras theorem, we realize that our triangle Fx, I mean F squared, is equal to Fx plus Fy squared. Therefore, our resultant force is equal to Fx squared plus Fy squared. But uh, this is what we should know. We should know that uh, this force is uh, acting in a given direction. Now, how do we get the direction? For us to be in position to get the direction, we use a uh, turn. We know that turn is uh, opposite over, uh, turn is opposite over adjacent. So, it means the direction or the angle at which the force acts is uh, the turn inverse becomes the turn inverse of Fy out of Fx. So this is uh, how we resolve vectors. When you're dealing with vectors, you must make sure your answer has the direction and the units. Thank you.